This is Dave Davies from Beanstalk SEO here doing part three of our short series on uh, a layman's guide to analytics. So um, in this one what we're going to be covering here is just ways of looking a, a little further into the portions we've looked at in our uh, date segmentation from the first video uh, to looking at which traffic changes have happened in the second video and now digging a little bit further to find out which traffic holds which values. So where should you be assigning the resources? Where have losses um, cost you a bit? I'm not going in so far in this video to covering things like um, setting up goals and, and doing conversion tracking because for the layman um, these things will you know, get a base understanding and that's going to be helpful while you while you work forward from there to setting up goals and these sorts of things but um, at this point we're going to look in with just a, a straight up you've just installed analytics collected some data you haven't set up goals or anything you know what can you look at from your past data to figure out what to do um, so what we're going to do first here is head on into our traffic sources um, we're going to look at our various sources and our all traffic. So we're just going to look through now the core areas that we're going to be looking for by the default that they've got set up here is things like our bounce rate, which may tell us things regarding, um, you know, are our pages attractive, things like that. As you can see, fairly high um, here in this site. So by clicking these links, we can order by our bounce rate sets from lowest to highest and see, you know, which sources of traffic. Um, are the lowest, which traffic are, are the highest in their bounce rates and things like that. We can adjust our visits um, accordingly, but let's dig a little bit deeper. I mean, this is on a, on a global traffic. You want to take a look. You probably want to, you know, click through and, and see what's going on there um, through all of them. But given that this is a predominantly SEO series, we're going to focus on our Google organic traffic just to, to dig a little bit deeper. Um, so clicking on there now by default, it just shows you the traffic you're getting from Google Organic, which you saw on the last screen, but we can go a little bit further down and go into the keyword level. So it's now showing us the keywords and what they're doing and, and how they're behaving on our site. So we can then look through our list and see, okay, which ones are more valuable? Which keywords are leading visitors to stick on our site longer? What are the percentage of new visitors? How many pages are they viewing? Um, things like that that are, you know, you're going to see the signals from them regarding, you know, are these things valuable? Are they not? Specifically, what will give them a value will depend on your monetization strategy. If you're trying to sell products, um, obviously you want to, you know, funnel them through the path. So, um, if you're getting them through the path quickly, you may not have a high vis um, page uh, per visit rate, but you'll get these signals. And if they're staying longer, they're reading your messages. If you're landing them on video pages, for example, you'd want to see a longer stick time, meaning that they're watching the videos, things like that. Um, but one of the things that I found very, very helpful, and we're going to get just a little bit into it. We're not going to get into advanced segmentation, but if we go a little bit further up and we look at our advanced segments here, click on it. You can see I've got a few of them here, but we're going to create a new segment. These ones are a little more elaborate. Um, if we create a new segment here, and we're just going to include now, there's whole streams of, of different things that you can segment by, but we're going to look at time on page, greater than, one minute. So basically, we're going to be segmenting out, oops, and TP, save segment. <coughs> there we go. Now, when we go in here again, okay. We want to click the all visitors. So basically what this is going to show us is our all visitors compared to our uh, time on page visitors. So when we apply that, go back down, what it's going to be showing us here is what percentage of the visitors for specific sets of keywords are staying more or less than the time that we have indicated. So out of all of our visitors on henna tattoo designs, for example, in, in the case of this top keyword phrase, um, we know that a fairly decent portion is staying on longer than a minute, you know, roughly you know, about 33%, little less, but, you know, closer to a, you know, high 20s to a 30% um, is staying on for longer than a minute. In fact, they're staying on average about two minutes. What this is basically enabling us to do is start to segment out um, if we have a, a high bounce rate on a page, for example, um, you know, sitting in a, at a very high bounce rate. It's allowing us to take those visitors that are bouncing and sort of pulling them out of the equation. You could do this by segmenting out your individual uh, by number of page views and, and things like that. But it's enabling us to get a better view of, of the people that are staying, what are they doing? Because that, at its 
uh, sort of basis level, um, one may look and go, hey, that's a really high bounce rate. This phrase doesn't matter to us. But once we segment it out a little bit further like this, what we're seeing is that of the 30% remaining, roughly, um, that we've actually got a fairly good um, pages per visit. We've actually got a fairly good visitor duration. Um, a lot of them are new visitors to the site. Um, and this is starting to give us a different value that we can assign to these specific phrases. So this will allow us to, to sort of push further, give a more accurate assignment to what is this phrase worth to me, um, and then dig a little deeper into that and go, okay, what are these people looking for? Now that's that's a conversion thing and, and the subject of different videos. Um, but we would scroll down and see, okay, and kits related phrases, yep. You know, we might have uh, on the on the screen before viewed and gone, oh, okay, well, you know, their their pages are a little bit lower um, and things like that. But we see that the people who are staying, the 75, so over 50% that are staying, um, are actually at a much higher um, rate. They're staying for a good sizable chunk of time. They're visiting a lot of pages. Um, henna tattoo, much the same. 50% are actually interacting quite predominantly with the site. Um, it, when we look at that as bulk data, it doesn't look like they're, this is a grouping that necessarily we want to focus on. So what we're trying to get at here in, in this uh, video is by using simple segments and you know go through the list and see all the different segments that you would want to. Um, and this is through sorry, this list here. Um, and I highly recommend Go through it, take a look at the different options that are available to you, exit pages, time on page, uh, time on site, all of these sorts of things, um, include and exclude, whether it's containing or, you know, setting up multiple so the page numbers are higher than this and, and the, um, you know, time on site or time on page is, is lower than this. Um, and you can create some quite interesting segments to really just drill down in a simplistic way. Um, into the various levels of, of data and give you a more accurate view of what specific keywords and what specific sources um, are providing for you. Now, these segments are going to carry through. So if I go back to all traffic now, it comes up and I look through at direct traffic, for example. Um, it's going to split that up and let me know, okay, of my direct traffic, um, it actually is, is you know, worse performing than some of these keywords that I was looking at, people who end up visiting the site directly and, and have entered the URL, um, where less than 25%, so, you know, give or take around 20% of them are actually interacting with the site for something more than a minute. Now, they're staying quite long, so that's a positive thing. Um, you know, they're viewing a lot of pages, they're staying for quite a period of time, so it's allowing me to, uh, to assign what is their actual value to me. Um, you know, without any conversion data or anything like that. So what I'm Im imploring you to do is think a little bit outside the box, play a little bit with the advanced segments at a, at a very, very cursory level. You don't have to get into anything too elaborate um, with a lot of ands and ors and just sort of break it down and make sure that you get an understanding that while the bulk data may not be favorable or may not be negative, once you start filtering it out into what your actual signals are going to be, you may find that the, the actual tale of what the value of that traffic source is, is different than what you thought it was.